Hello, everybody. This is kind of a little bit different from what we usually tend to do. Uh, my name is TJ Stinson. I'm the owner of Epic Gaming, uh, and we're going to be doing a Let's Play of Valkyria Chronicles 4. Um, I personally love JRPGs and tackle RPGs, and I'm a big fan of this series, and it just launched literally five minutes ago here in, in North America. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to just be a little bit different here and uh, play through this game. I had a lot of fun with the original one. So yeah, if you're just joining us, um, this is Valkyria Chronicles 4. It's the newest game in the series. Uh, a lot of folks have only played the original because it came out on PS3 and then a remaster in PS4. Um, but this one is for PS4. I'm playing another version because uh, out of the options, it is considered to be the best graphically and sound-wise. And since I'm not interested in doing portable, I decided to choose PS4. I chose to pick the launch edition digitally to make sure I had it uh, today. A little bit late out of the gate, so I didn't get the deluxe edition with the two extra DLC missions. I get it off the Capitalist Squad, which I'll do at the end of the main campaign, uh, but the other two are supposed to come out for general use in December, so I'll probably do that later. So here we go. Make sure all the options are where they need to be. Okay, we'll to do just real quick sure let's turn the controller speaker on oh battle options let's check that too everything seems to be pretty pretty typical so we'll go with it and um let's all right it's gonna make me save <laughs> system data cool enough let's try this um Let's try normal. I did play the original through all the way, so it shouldn't be too crazy. The day our hometown burned, that was the day we enlisted. At last, we had something to believe in, something worth fighting for. None of us yet knew. We couldn't foresee what this war would cost us. It was a battlefield, but it was where we grew up. That's a tagline. It was a battlefield where we grew up. Uh, they used on the uh, kind of promo trailers and such. So this is the first playthrough I will not be cutting through the cutscenes just to give you all a chance to, to watch. Looks like they have the beautiful uh, hand-drawn cel-shaded stuff like they did last time, which is kind of cool. That is the dog Ragnarok, from what I understand. He's like a robo dog or something like that. Interesting. Yeah, this game got some interesting reviews. On the one hand, a lot of uh, reviewers said that, like, you know, it's, a, it's an interesting story enough, but at the same time has some weird, like, tonal issues. Where, like, it, it tends to satirize, uh, like, serious issues while, like, at the same time making things that are kind of trivial a little bit too serious. But we'll see for ourselves. 
All right, so we're getting to do some main characters here. This is Commander Claude Wallace. Squad E. So I'm not sure if this is the same country as the original game. I know it's in the same timeline, but I think it actually might be a different neighboring country that these, these folks are fighting for. Either way, they're fighting the same Imperials from what I understand, as you fought in the original Valkyria Chronicles. Hence the crossover mission that's DLC. All right. Okay, simple enough. Got to take out all the enemies. And in freaking invincible. So, like a lot of strategy RPGs, they're they're taking and RPGs in general, for that matter. Uh, they're taking uh, some time to just teach us how to play the game, which is good. So, we're gonna learn if there's any new updates to the system that was introduced in previous games. All right, tutorial command mode. Okay. All right, so we're gonna move our cursor over to, to Raz. And now it's his turn to move. Action mode, so it's gonna be a three-dimensional on the field mode, I'm assuming. Great. Let's, let's rock and roll, folks. So yeah, just like the original game, you have a, a meter that's going to kind of fluidly move as we move around. So it, it's going to feel realistic, but at the same time still have the same restraints as a tactical RPG. Uh, and that, obviously, you have kind of a, a ring that you can move within. So we've got a soldier standing up there on the road. And some sandbags, which I'm assuming is going to provide us at least a little bit of cover. So we're moving. You see that bar at the bottom kind of slowly depleting. And... We're now going to attack, it looks like. Okay, R1, we'll enter target mode. Snap between targets. All right, so we're going to... Looks like a submachine gun that we're holding right now to kill seven, shots 20. It's good versus personnel. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with like Japanese-style games, uh, the maru or circle means that it's going to be good, where the batsu or X is going to be bad. So the machine gun's good versus people, bad versus armor, and it's bad versus kind of an AOE area attack. But lucky for us, so this guy is just a normal you know, flesh bag, so we're going to probably do just fine against him. So we're going to fire this Robinson M91 submachine gun and see what happens. All right. Took him out in one shot. Very good. So we press the options pad. I know that it was kind of funny for a lot of folks who are not used to the PlayStation 4, which I, you know, I'm sure most people are at this point. Uh, the option like button, the, the kind of the touch pad in the middle of the controller actually is a button. And there's some games that use it like actually as a button. Looks like this one is, is one of those games. So we're gonna end Raz's turn. Damn it, these assholes are in my way. I can't break through this, all right. Well, Raz, he needs some help from, uh, apparently, his friend Kai, who's going to give him a little bit of sass. I will say it's kind of frustrating that, like, they don't have more voice acting. I would assume, you know, for a game of 2018, that a lot of these, these interplay moments would, would be voice acted, but apparently not. 
So looks like we're gonna pick up Kai now, and from what I can tell from that brief picture, it looks like Kai is a sniper. Which, yep, it looks like she's a sniper. Okay, cool. Awesome. I'm all about this. So she needs to snipe this guy. So we can move this in to get a headshot. Okay. Looks like we're in play and we're gonna fire it. Let's go for it. Boom. One shot, one kill. Awesome. So she's done with her turn, which means I can push that option, the button in the middle, that, that pad to end her turn. Super cool. Is there anybody else? I don't think there is. I think it's time for us in phase. I only got two characters we can play with, so. We're gonna end our turn. So CP in this game means command points. It reflects the number of times you can control unit per pair phase. Excellent. So like in a lot of games, uh, you only have so many CP to work with, and if you run out, then you can't do anything else. Interesting. So we're going to end our turn, and the enemies are going to start doing their song and dance. Alright. Alright, we're taking some damage here, probably. We're getting flanked on the right, but I don't think, you know, it's a tutorial mission, so I doubt we're actually going to get hit very badly. Nope, they ended up doing a whole lot of nothing. Good. Okay, so Claude's coming in. I'm assuming he has a tank, just like uh, the main character in the first game did. Because I know that if you bought the limited edition, you get a big, huge resin tank. That's supposed to be his main command. So how do we get to control at this point? That'd be fun. So. Backup has arrived. CP and consecutive actions. Okay, so you get more CP every turn apparently, and you can be used on the same unit multiple times in a row. So there might be a case where you have like a big tank or something, and you're gonna want to be able to drive it deep, like drive fire, drive fire. And so apparently you can do that. That's cool. Yeah, as it says, it's useful for cutting into enemy lines, hurrying past dangerous terrain, or finishing off a tenacious enemy. That said, they'll tire out and start each consecutive action with less AP than the last. So if you do try to kind of exert them, it's a lot of tactical games do this. You can use it, but it's kind of a early win for a later loss if you choose to. But if you, all the guys are dead, it doesn't matter, right? So if you're able to go in and do a deep attack, in many cases it's useful because you can recharge when no one's around. So CP that goes unused during one phase will, however, roll over to the next. How you choose to manage CP will determine the fate of your squad. So those of you just joining us, this is Valkyria Chronicles 4. Uh, we wanted to play at launch and release 12 a.m. Eastern Time, of course, it's 9 p.m. here in the West, and so I just wanted to get a, a video out off the bat to show how cool this game is. I was super excited about it. Played the original way back 10 years ago on PS3 and then played the remaster here on PS4. And so we're gonna just kind of show you guys what you're, what you're missing or looking forward to if you have it planned. Uh, this game so far is really exciting. Um, we're gonna be going through this tutorial mission here uh, where we're going to be learning how to play each character. Currently, uh, we've got some new folks that have come in as reinforcements. So we're gonna learn how to play uh, with sandbags apparently next. So sandbags on the field provide cover. Um, move behind a sandbag and press X when crouch appears to take cover. Crouching makes a unit harder to hit and negates extra headshot damage. So that's super useful, especially when enemy snipers come around. So they're telling us to take cover behind sandbags as you move to make sure we don't get sniped. So we're going to play Nico, who has a Lenfield M1, which is a basically a basic service rifle. And we're going to put... You know, go over. Let's see, do we have room here? Is there any other sandbags? Yes, there are. So we're going to try to run all the way over to this sandbag. And enemy enemies? Yeah, there are. So we're going to sit down and crouch. And we're going to see, I just finished installing. <laughs> Luckily, the tutorial mission was in the kind of the initial, initial grip, so we can start playing. So we're going to start firing here, see if we can take on. Okay, aiming and weak points. 
Critical hits such as headshots deal greater damage than normal. Well, like a lot of games, it makes sense. Uh, use the L stick to quickly aim and then use the D pad to line up a headshot. Shots fire will generally land within the circle marked in your line of sight. Increase your chances of landing a hit by lining up your shots so that the target is well within the circle. Okay, to kill shows how many shots must have connected to eliminate the target. This number indicates whether your shots will reach the enemy or if you're aiming at a weak point. So right now, um, unfortunately, it's going to take a lot of shots to kill, okay, to kill 35. So we can sit here and use the D-pad to see if it's going to get a little better. I don't know. Okay, nine shots. So now there, that's a headshot there. You see it went from 35 to nine. So we're going to fire um, uh, at the head and see if we can get some damage down here. Yeah, he's taking damage, but not a whole lot. But you saw one of those hits hit really hard, which means it was more kind of a percentage base, it looks like. Uh, so... Definitely, in some cases, you can get lucky. So we're going to get our second soldier here. One of the other reinforcements. It looks like Curtis, also carrying a basic service rifle. And we're going to stick him behind the... Actually, we're going to run him further up. Let's see if we can get him behind. Oh my gosh, we can actually get all the way up here. That is intense. So we're going to crouch here underneath and go into target mode. See if we can get a better shot. Because... Alright, so we're going to go here. Use that D-pad again. Two shots to kill this time, which is way better than last. So we're going to fire. See if we can hit him. Oh my gosh. He got the one hit, but he didn't hit any other uh, auxiliary hits. So that was a little bit rough. However, we still have one more CP left, I believe. No, we have three more left. Okay, we're gonna definitely gonna be able to put some good damage on the board. So, so from what I can tell, these uh, are basic infantry soldiers, the ones that look like a sideways three. Uh, these folks there have the, the chevrons, kind of the British style chevrons. Actually, no, they're American style because they're they're that way upwards. Uh, they're assault assault troopers that are carrying submachine guns, and then of course down here is a sniper. So. What we're going to do next is take one of our assault soldiers here and see if we can run them around into close quarters. And if we can, then we can basically clear them out. Oh man, are we out of CP? I thought we... we keep on flashing. Okay, so we'll use a sniper next in that case. So she's going to move over to here. And let's see if we can get that wasp going. I would like to not fire at the person that we were already firing at. I'd like to fire at this individual instead. Yeah, I would like to fire at this person instead. Because if we can, that'll be a lot better. Good. Go for it. Boom. I already can tell I'm going to like snipers. Like... <laughs> They're fun just because of nothing else. They're, you know, usually they can take out a lot of really difficult troops without having to really put or uh, sacrifice resources to get there. So. So we'll do a unit list. Let's see if we can get anybody else. Can we use Raz? Okay, I thought we could. If we had problems with the, the stick trying to get a hold of him. So we're going to run him up here. I'm going to try to get him as deep as I possibly can. Because again, using, let's see if we can do this here. Okay, oh my gosh. That's dangerous, but let's see if we can clear him out. I think we might be able to, yeah, let's go. Come on. Oh no, that was bad. So that was super dangerous and I, <laughs> I probably was stupid and now my guy's getting shot at. But it looks like his health is high enough, it's not gonna matter. And it seems like we might be uh, sitting on training wheels here in this training mode. And I was kind of banking on that, to be honest, in case uh, it messed up. So, luckily, I don't think we're going to lose him. Okay, one more CP left. So it looks like, okay, Zyga is my last character we can play with. Okay, Zyga hopefully will get to, okay, good. Okay. Let's see. Can we can we clear this guy? So it looks like this guy is gonna go down. Yes, nice. It 
sounds like the tank's rolling up finally. Right, so Claude is, is coming in to, to use a tank now, which is good. Awesome. And much like the first game, you got a, a light tank, kind of light medium going on. And so that should help us. All right. Once the Hoffen is moving out, destroy the enemy tank. Okay, so apparently there's an enemy tank hanging around here that we gotta deal with. Alright. Trail tanks. Tanks boast firepower and endurance far beyond that of foot soldiers. They can withstand gunfire from enemy infantry, making them a solid wall for your soldiers to use as cover. So that's also kind of cool in this game too. Much like a lot of more advanced strategy games on tabletop, tanks in this game you can actually use physically as cover for infantry, which is a much more of a kind of historical style to use as tanks. Some games are stupid and like have tanks be kind of more of a armored infantry unit that rolls around that doesn't really affect the terrain. And that's kind of irritating, but, but Valkyria Chronicles decided to take more of a traditional tactical role which is very, very much appreciated. Tanks can destroy objects with a red X on the command mode map, either by firing a cannon or by driving into them. Tanks cannot fit into narrow passages, so advance with infantry in such cases. So obviously, tanks do have the drawbacks, largely that they're huge. Alright, so it looks like we have another tank to deal with here. Um, so there it is. There's the tank. So let's see if we can drive our tank and deal with it. Alright, let's start driving. Okay, so we gotta be careful here. Let's see. Drive. We can break down these wooden barriers. Drive around. So, can we get to the tank side is the question. Because I'm assuming it has lighter... Okay, let's see. Hold on. Tank warfare. Tanks have three methods of attack, armor piercing or AP shells, mortar rounds, and a mounted machine gun. Armor piercing shells are effective against tanks and other vehicles, while explosive mortars hit a broad area with a ragnite blast ideal against infantry. Mortars travel in an arc, aim for the center of multiple foes to maximize power power and preserve limited ammo. The machine gun is designed to strike foes who are too close for the mortar and to intercept incoming enemies. Press square to switch to tanks weapons. Alright. So it looks like if we hit the hit this tank with our tank, it's only going to do Oh man, that sucks. I'm not super excited about that. My tanks are taking some damage. So, yeah, if you look at everything else, like, it's not going to do it. So I'm going to keep driving a little bit more, see if I can. There we go. I'm going to turn it. Can you do that? All right, perfect. Hit its treads. Let's see if we can blow its treads out. So in this case, it doesn't look like this game does that. I didn't think it did, but it's always good to test. <laughs> so right now we're getting shot up by a machine gun, and that's cool. So we're going to end that, that uh, unit's turn. 
I don't know what else we can really do here. I mean... Um... Anything a Kai can do? Let's see if this, this sniper can do anything. I don't think it can. Yeah, I don't think so. I think that we... I think we literally need to play... So it's just kind of funny about it. So I think we actually need to play the tank completely. And that's what's going to happen here. We'll need to play the tank. Yeah, we need to run the tank three times and blow it out. So... We got a full movement. I don't know if we can do it though, man. This is gonna be really rough. Okay, come on. Come on. Here we go. Can we do it? I don't know if we can. Oh my gosh, that's brutal. Okay, so we can do it. Let's go for it. There we go. Alright, that tanks out. The operation is complete, folks. For those of you just joining us, this is Valkyria Chronicles 4, just released literally 20 minutes ago here on the West Coast. It's uh, had a 12 a.m. release time, three places you network, and of course we're West Coast, so it's 9 a.m. 9 p.m. Uh, so we're just playing the tutorial mission right now. Uh, it's a fantastical tactical series, fantastical tactical series, fantastic tactical series. Uh, and uh, for those of you who are fans or are fans of tactical games in general, I would definitely recommend this game. Play the demo before. And it uh, looks like the completed product is also just as good, if not better. Here's a little backstory between Claude and Raz. Oof. So this looks like Raz has no time for Claude's musing. <laughs> so we completed the mission. Our experience looks like it was good. Okay, A rank. I'm assuming there's an S rank though, and I kind of screwed around a little bit, so we didn't quite get it. But this is not a perfect playthrough. This is just a straight out of the gate launch day playthrough. So what you're looking at right now is uh, Claude's uh, journal. For those of you that end up getting the special edition version, you can get a full leather bound uh, copy kind of replica of this journal. It has a lot of uh, production notes in it. Um, it seems like it kind of serves as the story vehicle for this game in yeah, book mode as they're trying to talk about now discover the untold history of the second European war by viewing this chronicle the new episode continue we're going to now teach us how to save so um, we just did squad E we just did the battle at Milt we got an A ranking as you can see there and so now we're going to do the next uh, prologue story, Fighting Back. So like I was saying before, it seems like a lot of this is not actually voice acted. Uh, that intro was, but since then I haven't heard a single voice. Uh, in this game. New character, Minerva. So...
So it's interesting. So you're starting this war out where you're at on the defensive. Um, yeah, this is officially a crisis. So you're gonna you're gonna enter kind of the battle scene here where you're way behind, and I'm assuming the storyline's gonna kind of carry you from near defeat towards victory, which is not a bad, you know, it's not a bad turn of events. the main character is going to be part of that counterattack. Schwarzgrad. Let's fight back. All right. Northern Cross. So you can see, like, Schwarzgrad literally is St. Petersburg. That was actually a video from the first game. So what's interesting on this map is Ran uh, Gallia is where the first game took place, or where the capital Rangra is. So actually, this is a group to the west that that's fighting now. Kind of an interesting, interesting point there. It's super cool though. So yeah, they're Forward soldiers. This is the battle you've been training for. Operation Northern Cross begins now. We'll wipe those Imperials clear off the face of Europa. Our time has come. Forward to victory. It's hell epic. <laughs> this is good. So this this is not these Valkyria Chronicles, but so far it doesn't nearly uh, focus on the Valky Valkyria, right? I mean, in the first game, you beat Silveria Bless like, right off the bat, and that's kind of a centerpiece of the entire story. Where in this case, it seems like the game's starting out instead of just a general war between the Empire and the Federation. Which kind of interesting take. So that's it. We're, we're now in the game, mid the main game at least. So battle at Fort Crest is the first mission that we're looking at. Out of metal. Cool. Meritorious Service Medal. Received an accessory as an award. Cat bullets. Accessories. Okay. So they can basically their equipment to help your soldiers fight better, right? So I gotta go to the menu now and see if I can uh, equip my guys, right? Or not. Okay. How do we do that?
So I got cat bullets, but how do I equip my guys? <laughs> Let's take a look and see what happens, because I, I don't know. Like, they're saying, you know, search... Interesting piece of artifact here. Uh, back when film required, well, film uh, was a part of camera usage. Of course, now everything's digital. There you go. That's a keeper. Damn it, Miles! The hell was that for? Freaking hurt, man! I told him to stop the tank. Huh? Everything okay? The wind shifted. Okay. Whew. All right, so it looks like we have some enemy forces to fight with. Okay, so can we do this thing now? I, I would like to. I'd like to equip those cat bullets if I can. So again, these folks are from Squad E, They're looking for Squad F, which is the nearby uh, squad, I'm assuming. Next one in the line. Flash. Thun okay, that is a reference. Okay, that, okay. <laughs> Flash Thunder. That is a reference to Company of Heroes, actually, which is uh, a game made by THQ, which is a World War II game. And the first mission, uh, you are paratroopers in the 82nd Airborne, <laughs> and you're second 101st. And when you find soldiers, yeah, the first one says Flash, the second one says Thunder. Like that, that's kind of a funny reference. And it's also made by Sega actually, uh, strangely enough. <laughs> so that, that's interesting. That's, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure there's other, other kind of Easter egg spoilers there. That's awesome. <laughs> Crystal Ward from Squad F, cool. All right, so she, sees uh, Minerva Victor as a senpai, it looks like, as a character kind of trope. Twenty-one centimeter howitzer, that is a huge, huge piece of artillery. I mean, so in World War II, we had 105 millimeter howitzers, which would have been 10 centimeters, 10 and a half, so that's twice as large. <laughs> Yeesh. Okay. saucy here I'd appreciate if you didn't insult my soldiers they're people not pets wow 
Oh, wagging my tongue. Man, th this dialogue. So again, those of you just joining us, this is uh, a launch day, launch hour, in fact, uh, playthrough of Valkyria Chronicles 4, uh, the newest uh, in the Valkyria Chronicles series from Sega, tactical RPG series. We just got done with the tutorial mission, and we're now entering the first major mission. Um, kind of doing a little bit of preamble before we go into the fight. So the main kind of capital unit is going to be that howitzer with a bunch of infantry surrounding it, it sounds like. Interesting. So we're going to have to ambush the cannon from behind, I'm assuming. We'll have to capture the fort without artillery. And galleon cheese. <laughs> Interesting. So Edinburgh, if you looked at the map earlier, that was supposed to be kind of the British Isles. I saw that town to the west, so it looks like these characters are all from across this Atlantic Federation. Uh, they're not just from one area, unlike the first game where you had uh, everyone from that small principality of Gallia. Okay, so here you go. Um, this is the link in with Valkyria Chronicles 1. So this morning, the Empire invaded Gallia. That is the sparking moment for uh, the events that happened in the first game. So now we've established this is concurrent. This is, the, this is concurrent with that game. Wow. All right. Prince Maximilian is the main antagonist in that first game. Interesting. I always like it when they do games like this where you have kind of a, a side story or guiding, if you will. And this game is basically happening concurrently, it looks like, with original Valkyria Chronicles now, where these folks are trying to, to infiltrate and invade the Empire while uh, the heroes of, of original Valkyria Chronicles are fighting off this invasion from from the Empire. All right. So here we go. New episode's been added. We gotta fight this howitzer. The Battle of Fort Crest, Siege to the Castle. All right, let's go. Horse Crest Howitzer. So lay siege, this should be interesting. So you got uh, machine gun emplacements on both sides, okay. All right. You want machine guns range, they'll cut through like carving a cake. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. So we gotta use the sniper probably to take out the teams. Victory, the enemy base is captured. Failure, the enemy occupies your base camp. All allied infantry fall in action or 20 turns pass. So we have an arranged timer effectively of 20 turns. If we lose all of our guys, we lose. And if they are able to sneak a guy into our camp, we lose. Okay, makes sense. Uh, mission info, okay. Reassign squad, what does that do? Okay, here we go, equipment. I was waiting because I wanted to equip those, uh, yeah, Terry Jr. equipment. I was looking to get those cat bullets on somebody. So.
All right, so we have cat bullets, which I assume is for our basic infantry. So we're gonna to need to choose somebody uh, to uh, equip these cat bullets on. So if I want to take a quick moment here just to make sure, so accuracy, right? So we, our best accuracy individual with, of the basic infantry seems to be Curtis Blackwell here with 14. If we take a look at uh, the shock troopers or assault, assault troopers, we have uh, Raz is 15. Okay, these guys are all pretty much the same. We have some guys that are weaker here. Uh, Lancers, the other guys are the huge, like, they're basically um, Panzerfaust or, or anti-tank units uh, from the first game. Uh, that's fine. We have a couple engineers which can repair our tank. And then we have a couple, we have a huge squad, man, jeez. Like, all these guys are active. So yeah, Kai Shulin, man, look at her accuracy compared to these other guys. 25, that's absurd. Okay, well, um, I think we're just gonna go and, uh, you know, well, should I like make things stupid here? Let's see if I can do this. Can she equip anything else? Uh, no, yeah, cat bullets. Plus three aim, plus three. I'm gonna give to Kai, actually. I think that's the play. Make your sniper stupid good. So we're gonna give her that extra, extra parts there. And then we're going to uh, position units. So you you can so there's units and then there's commanding units and the ones that are commanding units have that extra kind of sheriff star or command star uh, that shows they actually add CP to the team, which means you probably want to have as many CP as possible. Yeah, they're saying you should use a lancer. So let's do it here. So there's six slots. All right, so we're gonna bring our good friend Curtis Blackwell because we already saw that he was a uh, he had had really good. Uh, so we'll bring Raz. Okay. Kai. We were talking about Kai earlier. I'm going to put her in front so she can get into a good position to snipe. And then we're going to want to bring probably an engineer to make sure the tank doesn't get jacked up. And then we're going to want to bring a Lancer. So we'll bring... I did not look at their stats. That's dumb. Huh. I think we're just gonna have to let's let's bring Laurent McLeod. Yeah, I think they they're based upon stats. So that's what we're gonna do. That's our team. All right, let's capture that that cannon. Weapons free. All right, folks, let's go. Camps. Camps are set across the battlefield. Units stationed near an allied camp receive a bonus to defense and HP recovery at the start of each turn. Occupying a camp allows you to call for reinforcements or have a unit retreat. Capture an enemy camp by defeating all the enemy units within it, then moving to their flag and pressing X. If there are no allies in your camp, the enemy can capture it from you. There are two kinds of camps, base camps and field camps. Capture the enemy base camp while defending your own to win. Expanding your squad's capabilities by capturing field camps early on will help to pave the way to victory. So in short, they're going to route you to, to key locations. Wow. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven. 
We have seven CP to work with? Okay. Well, um... Aim. I think the play is to get... Oh, God. Let's see this. What does this, this look like? Alright, so this is the front area. Beyond here are the two machine gun turrets right here and right here. And the huge cannon is further beyond. So, I think the play is to try to bum rush this tank out of the gate. Because there's no way to get in. Um, so, we're going to do that. That's what we're going to do. So, we're going to take Hoffman. Alright, so let's take a look. Can we get all the way around this tank? Some field actions. X when a prompt appears near a certain terrain, take special actions. Pressing X in tall grass lets you high drop prone and crawl to hide from enemies. Climbing ladders to reach higher ground is another common field action. Field actions can only be taken when a prompt for X appears on the screen. Alright, well, let's drive for a hot minute. On. Can we get around? Can we do it? Oh my god, we're so close. Yes, we can. Okay. Watch this. I think we can kill the guy in one hit. Yep. There goes the tank. Also, our tank is good too because we actually are, are forward enough we shouldn't get hit from the rear. So now we gotta choose another trooper. Lancers. Yep. <laughs> I think it's so funny, like they, they, they build the tutorial so cleanly that you end up finding yourself doing exactly what they expect you to do. Alright, so they're, they're heavy, heavy troopers. So what we need to do now is take this Lancer. Let's see if we can get our Lancer going. Okay, come on, Warrant. Let's go. We may need to go twice. I think we might have to go twice. Let's see. Mm, okay, can we see the tank from here? I don't think we can. Nope. That sucks. I think we might be able to... <laughs> That'd be so funny if we could actually hit that. Can we actually hit it? We can totally do it. Oh my gosh. Let's try it. Ah, I missed. Alright. That's cool. Alright. So we need to probably run him a second time and then get him behind that tank. Because, well, we have a couple options. I don't know, man. Like, jeez. Alright. Um... So, this red dotted line is the maximum extent, I think, of that howitzer. So, we don't want to get inside that ring, for sure. I think the play is going to be to bring up the rest of our soldiers. But at the same time, I'm not exactly excited about having my tank anywhere close to that. So, we have one, two, we have five more to work with. And we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so, let's do that. Let's grab the tank first off. And see if we can get our tank in a position. It's going to be a lot net less than it was last time, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. Sightlines. Interesting. So they've all seen me. That's fine. I kind of want to... Man, that's so bad, but at the same time, I think it'd be really good. So what we're going to do... We're going to run Warrant again and see if we can kick this guy out. Alright, so can we... Are we going to get far enough to do that? Let's see if we can. Please let me do it, let me do it, let me do it, let me do it, let me do it. Oh my 
my gosh, let me do it. Come on. Yeah. Got it. Okay, tank's down. Awesome. Okay, so there's three CP left, which isn't awesome, but I need to get my guys in play. So we're gonna. We're gonna run her as hard as we can here. We might be able to flat out run this. I can't believe it. Let's see here. Okay. That's totally what we can do. Let's do it. So let's do it or not. Okay. That's okay. We'll wait till next turn. All right, so we have that trooper done. Um, let's we have two CP left to work with. Let's take uh, our engineer because we're gonna need yeah, let's resupply repair for five. So they're basically uh, medics as well as uh, repair units for tanks. All right, Ragnade. Infantry automatically recover a small amount of HP each player phase, but sometimes they need immediate healing. Switch to Ragnade with square and then press R1 to select a target. Place the crosshairs on a nearby ally to heal them or place them on no one to heal the unit using Ragnade. Okay, so let's go over and let's just run as close as we possibly can to our team. So get this guy out to the front. Wow, he's like gonna run farther than the dam. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take we're gonna put him behind. Um, yeah, we'll put him there. That's fine. Okay, last troop we're gonna run, I think, is gonna be well. It's kind of sucks because I didn't want to do that, but we're gonna bring Raz up. I think he's the right play because. He can run fast, and at the same time, also will be good in close quarters combat. We're going to end up with that kind of crap here pretty quick. Um, you can try it. Oh, we actually hit the guy a couple times, but it did like no damage. Awesome. All right. Well, let's see what happens. So our team's here, we're, we're in play. We killed two tanks, which was good. They got three movements. All right. All right, what are we doing here? Interesting. That guy's a freaking, uh, yeah, okay, so he, he was an engineer, ran right into our shock trooper. That was weird. Interesting choice on the part of the, uh, the CP, CPU. Critical condition, HP recovery. Units whose HP falls to zero are in critical condition and cannot use CP to take actions. If a unit is taking heavy damage, try to keep them out of danger. Foot soldiers stationed near an ally camp get a boost to the amount of HP recovered to start each turn. Tanks do not recover lost HP unless they are near an ally camp. If a tank's HP is to zero, it immediately retreats. Okay, so we have three, four, five, six, seven CP again. So first thing we're gonna do is actually get this, this unit up, otherwise it will never join the party at all. So here we go. Curtis is going to run, run, run like the wind. All right, Curtis. Let's see, do we have anybody else nearby here? So, yeah. I'm really worried about running anywhere closer because, quite frankly, like that's going to be garbage if we end up in a situation like that. Okay, so. Go 
Question mark, question mark means they're not going to do Jack. Um, what can I do? What can I do? I'm being pointed at by a crap ton of guys. So let's move our boy here. Oof, that's bad. So we got to we got to get our guys over here. We got to take this unit out, like straight up, because otherwise we're going to run into a huge problem. So let's grab our uh, our sniper. Grab Kai and see if she can get into a position to take out that idiot. Alright. Yeah, this unit's gonna die, no question. That's it. Awesome. So these two units are like totally standing out in the open, which is not a good thing. Um, what should I do next? I feel like I should run Kai a second time and get her around the corner here. So I can, yeah, I think that's the play. I'm gonna grab Kai a second time and have her run a little further. Because the advantage here is gonna be that she, what the heck? All right. That guy's crouching. That sucks. Who's firing at me? Interesting. All right, so she... Okay, weird. So we have four more CP to work with. Um, so let's grab weird. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Let's see here. Player shock trooper. See if we can get to a position to fight this guy instead. Um. Perfect. He's out there basically in, the, in <laughs> no man's land. So let's grab the tank. Let's go for it. Let's grab the tank and let's drive. Let's go. Blast through here. We should be able to blast through this, right? Interesting. I thought we could blast through it, though. Weird. Okay. Well. And. Boom. Got him. Blew out their sandbags as well. So, our tank should be fine here. If I look at this again, let's see look at the map. Yeah, we should be just fine. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take my tank and I'm gonna back it up a little bit. Okay, no, not that way. Holy crap, come on. Okay, do that. All right, can we go back? No, it's not gonna let us do that, is it? All right, well, we'll just leave it here then. All right, he's low on ammo, which means he needs to be re-ammoed. I'm gonna grab our engineer here and have him re-ammo. All right, buddy, come over here and let's re-ammo our guy. Okay, so he's close. So he got his, uh... man. Is there anybody else nearby we can deal with? No, looks like he's just fine. We're gonna have him in his turn there. So all you do is just touch touch a tank and uh, they'll get their stuff back, it looks like. So we have one more CP left this turn, so the question is who do we want to get on board? I think we gotta take our sniper one more time. I'm thinking that's the play because, um, so we'll have her crouch down and then let's target this 
guy one more time. Interesting. I thought we shot him earlier. Apparently not. All right, this is the end of our second turn. Our, our troops are in good position though. So let's see what happens next. Reinforcements. Soldiers not currently deployed are waiting in the reserves. Reserve units can be deployed from allied camps as reinforcements. Select a camp in command mode and press X to display a list of available units. Once a call for backup has been sent, the unit will arrive on your next phase. Reinforcement requests will be canceled if the camp has been taken before the reserve unit can be deployed there. The enemy camp can likewise call for backup. This is when they're going to do that, I'm sure. The only way to stop this from happening is to capture enemy camps ASAP. She's almost... Oh, damn, it sucks. She's almost out of here. Okay, well... I think Assault Trooper needs to run up there and just, like, deal with this guy. That's what I'm going to do. So, here we go. Let's go. Alright. Boom. Okay, we did it. Took the camp. There we go, folks. We captured our first camp. Awesome. So, tutorial. Retreating. No more than 10 foot soldiers can be deployed on a map at once. After that, you're unable to call for reinforcements. You can substitute out currently deployed units for reserve units. Retreat by moving a unit into an allied camp, facing the flag, and pressing X. You can also press triangle in command mode to retreat while a unit is in the camp. This method does not cost you any CP. A unit outside the camp can still be sent to the reserves by pressing triangle and sending them on a force retreat. Force retreats cost 1 CP, as does deploying a unit from the reserves. Okay, so anyway, uh, Raz uh, blew up all the sandbags he used for cover. So we're going to run over to... Oh, that's all we're going to do. We're going to have to go for it. Okay, so Raz is out in the open, but, but we do control the camp now. Tutorial, morale boost. Taking down an enemy or capturing an enemy camp can trigger a morale boost. Morale boosts grant a higher chance of activating potentials and dodging. They end when the unit takes another action. If the unit is under heavy fire, it may be wise to hold on to the morale boost by not taking any actions on that turn. Okay, so anyway, we need to get our Kai, our amazing sniper, into position. Well, she needs to get to the camp, it sounds like. So let's get her over to the camp real quick. And she, okay, so let's see what she can do here. Well, this guy just flat out getting killed, I think. He's standing. Yep. And, oh, one shot, one kill. Oh, they lost a uh, command point. That was the lieutenant. Tutorial, defeated leaders. No leaders defeated, their CP is nullified. Their commander will receive fewer CP at the start of their phases. Both allies and enemies have leaders. Claude and Raz are E leaders and Squad E. Keep your leader units protected while actively seeking out and destroying enemy leaders to reduce their CP pool. All right, she's feeling uh, fancy free here. All right, we'll just we'll just stay there for now. Okay, we need to get our tank around, because right now our tank is just, like, dirtling here, and that's not good. So, both of our guys over there are, like, totally jacked up, though, which is not, not a good thing. Let's take a look here. Are we okay? Wait a minute, is our guy all right? Yeah, okay, I thought I'd I saw him knocked down or something. I was like, what the heck is going on? So, we're going to drive our tank around this fountain. Okay, so what can we fire at? 
We got a machine gunner there and a machine gunner there. Let's see if we can fire our mortar, which is great versus infantry. All the way up there. Let's see if it goes far enough. I don't think it does. It's too far away. Let's see if we can get the actual like machine, like the uh, tank down here. Oh my gosh. Let's see if we can do it. Fire. Ah, missed. All right. Well, <laughs> we tried. We need to get our infant, uh, engineer over here, though, because both our sniper and our, our shock trooper are both out of ammo, which is not good. We'll probably run him twice, actually, if we need to. I keep on trying to use, like, tank controls and or, like, airplane controls when moving the camera, and that just is not, not doing it for me. Okay, so both of our guys now have... Um, both of our guys now have ammo again, which is good. We have three CP left, and we have two troopers down here. So let's get our troopers around. Uh, and no more soldiers, though, hanging out here. We just have machine guns uh, doing their thing. So let's see if we can get our machine guns where we need to go. By machine guns, I mean get our troopers where we need to go so we can get some machine guns out. Let's, can we fire? Hit this guy? No, it's going to be the same garbage. Let's see if we can actually get into range and fire at this guy. So, come on. I think I might be able to do it, actually. Yeah, let's go. Yes. Oh, man. So freaking close. All right. Well, we'll take the rest of this to hide behind. Yeah, hide behind this, this rock. Okay, um, we gotta get our Lancer. That's the last guy that we can really move here. Uh, so we're gonna run him forward. He doesn't have a lot to do right now because there's no more tanks hanging out, but regardless, it's not a bad move just to have him. We'll put him, I guess we're gonna put him over here. Let's hide behind this rock. Or not quite, but this could be bad. All right, in phase. No, we actually have one CP left. What am I talking about? So, I think we should grab our sniper again. I think she's going to get stupid high level. I get that feeling already. Like, this sniper in the end for me is going to be dumb high level. Because she's going to get a lot of, like, kills on folks that no one else can really do. Because, like, watch this. Here we go. This guy's going to be just out. Okay, let me see. Can, can I get the other one, though? If I can, I'm going to leave this guy up. Because... Alright, let's go. Okay, we need to take out this right now. I was going to screw around with this, but I think the play is... Um, well, we're going to still do it correctly. Let's go for it. Boom. Okay, so that right machine gun's out. She's in good shape now. Let's see, can we hide? I would love to hide away from this machine gun. That'd be nice. Okay, so machine gun can't see us anymore. That's good. So we're in our turn. Pretty good shape here. We have, they might fire out reinforcements though into that camp. Nope. I'm gonna grab this scout actually, cause I think the scout would not be bad to go take that, that uh, position. Scouts have such a stupid high like rating. Cool. Okay, we took the enemy camp. At the end of the mission. All right. So Claude is saying we can't advance. Ooh, damn! If we only had artillery, watch and artillery. Some way through, just hang on until I find it. All right, Claude, figure it out. Victory condition has changed to any ally unit reaches the target. 
Enemy reinforcements have appeared. Okay, so that machine gun is gone. We got a bunch more machine guns. So. Okay, right, well, um... So this is the front line, is what it looks like. I think this 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 marker kind of is a arbitrary kind of front line marker. So all of our troops are hanging out here instead. Uh, Curtis seems to be fancy free. Let's see if we can grab. Um, let's grab our girl Kai again and see if she can do do some some sniping. Do we need to turn this direction to fire this guy? Let's just do that. Let's do that for now. What? Why does she machine gun? Like, is that like a machine gun sniping rifle or something? Because that's what kind of looked like to me. Okay, so anyway, we need to move forward. So Kai is going to go up to here and is going to crouch. Oh, let's see. Do we have anything else we can do? There's some tank. Hmm. I don't know. Interesting. Okay, so she... This is probably the best she can do right now. No, crouch. Has more SP next turn. Okay, so these are black, so they cannot go. And this tank actually cannot move through here. That's exciting. So we gotta take our infantry and, like, kind of push through. Interesting. Okay, so we're gonna take our tank, actually, in that case. <laughs> And we're going to drive our tank this way, and we're going to use our mortar and fire at this guy. Awesome. Alright, so, mortar. Oh my god, why can't we fire the freaking mortar? Can we, like, hit this guy? That is so dumb. So that was stupid. Tank can't do jack. Uh oh, new protagonist is showing up. She's no godmother, but she can work some magic for you. All right. Magic, huh? Wiki's little, if it was real. Reinforcements have arrived. All right, so whoever the heck this is, she is, it's Riley. <laughs> She's a Grenadier. This is an entirely new class for this series, it looks like. The Grenadier class launches explosives from their mortars in an arc to reach enemies behind cover or on high ground. Grenadiers can intercept enemies behind cover as long as an ally can see them. The interception fire also slows down the target's movement. Grenadiers pack a lot of firepower, but it takes time for them to set up and line up a shot and then attack. They're vulnerable to attack while setting up their mortars, so be careful not to get them stuck in a position under heavy fire. Pack up a mortar back pack a mortar back up by pressing X. As a fire support unit, coordinating with mobile classes is crucial. Alright, so like basically hang out with uh, scouts it looks like. So So can she fire like right now? Because that'd be cool. So I don't know what to do. Let's see here. Oh, that's funny. So you can totally like. All right. Okay. There we go. So let's fire. Boom. That is so sick. Oh my gosh. I like this character already. It's like get her and the sniper going. 
So good. So much value. Well, I'm going to let her go now. Um, we'll need to move her again later. Alright, so this is going to be some withering fire, unless we can deal with it. Um, so it looks like all we got going on here are some shock troopers, a scout, and another machine gun. I think the play might be, and I could be completely wrong, um, take take Kai again and run her run her out so she can hit that machine gun. Can she hit the machine gun from here? Man, that is not good. Yeah, that sucks. Okay. Any like, oh, that, that's bad. She's gonna just get shot up if I don't watch this. She's gonna go again. I would really like it if she could have okay, potential, dead eye, alright, accuracy and a personnel up. Okay. <laughs> so I, I guess she did better damage, question mark? Like I I gotta run her a third time. Like this sucks, but like I'm gonna have to run her three times. Is she out of, of ammunition, I wonder? I think actually I'm gonna run her. Well, shit. That's. Oof. Okay. Um. Man, that's bad. So I like ran her out there, and now she's like gonna get run down. This is not good. I need to get somebody else out there now. I'm gonna get him going because he needs to give her. Um, he needs to give her uh, ammo, <laughs> like real bad. Okay, I'll do that. She's standing up. She may get blown out for all I know. Like that's entirely possible. We'll see though. Uh, this could be super freaking bad. And if it is, I'll need to. Okay, we have another scout. Whatever. Scouts are fine. Yeah, he's gonna. He's gonna take shots. That's gonna happen. Right. Cover fire that is so freaking bad. Ow. Oh, yeah. Okay, we have three more AP. Okay, who else we got running around here? Shock trooper? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So she also apparently uh, gives. Um, apparently she gives uh, CP as well. That's cool. So I'm gonna get Raz up there and see if he can clear clear that uh, machine gun situation. Are we with his machine? With his machine gun or submachine gun, if they will. Uh, okay, here we go. How about you just stop overwatch firing me and then learn to die. There we go. So there was car fire. You saw that there. She also picked up her rifle and started firing. Um, can we get back behind that crouching situation? Come on. There you go. Yeah, looks like we can. Good. I think the play for her is going to Kai is going to be to get behind that small sandbag as well. And I should have done that originally. That was just stupid. I didn't do that earlier. I didn't realize that that sandbag was there though. Oh, 
Oh, man. Oh, man, I missed. That sucks. All right. Let's grab one of our... Uh, Jeff Curtis. Potential true friend, anti-personnel up. Okay, so Curtis apparently uh, has a special ability this turn where he's gonna do extra damage versus uh, infantry. And that's cool. Thanks, Curtis. So he can run super far, and we're gonna go for it. Come on, come on, Curtis, get down. That was brutal, man, holy crap. See me hit twice. Okay, He's still jacked up though, pretty bad. That sucks. Oh, and he's knocked out. That is awesome. Medic, units use HP falls to zero, are in critical condition, and cannot use CP to take actions. Leaving a unit in the state for three turns or allowing an enemy to touch them results in them being incapacitated. Except in very few exceptional cases, incapacitation means your soldier is dead and will disappear from your squad. In order to prevent this, an allied unit must make contact with a downed unit before a tragic end falls in. When a unit reaches an ally in critical condition, the medic will evacuate them. They can redeploy, be redeployed on the next turn. Avoid losing soldiers by rescuing units in critical condition, ASAP. Sometimes an unexpected ally may help evacuate. So, yeah, Curtis is jacked up now. Um, God, man, this is just garbage. We need to, okay, I'm gonna have to take the, the sniper again. It sucks, but like, I'm gonna need to do that for sure. Cause she has to take out that stupid freaking machine gun, because that's what jacked us up. Okay. Man, that is so bad. Come on, kill him. Please? She's out of points. Wow. Okay. Well, um, that happened. Get Curtis out of here. Hey! There's our medic. He has been evacuated. Is there anybody I can shoot at here? I don't think so. I'll let him go. It's okay. Funny how the tank can't get through. Throw it away. That weapon is so freaking strong. Jeez. So those of you joining us, this is Valkyria Chronicles 4. Uh, brand new installment that just came out literally, like I guess about an hour and a half ago here in the States. 
Uh, and so far, I'm very, very pleased to say that it is definitely strong in the vein of the previous Valkyria Chronicles games, whether you are coming from the original or the PSP number two and three. Uh, this game is awesome. Uh, the character we just used uh, was a new character for this mission, uh, and she uh, is effectively sets up like an artillery piece and just hits like a truck. So, definitely happy to have her on board. Um, let's see, who else can we play? We're gonna get Lauren up. I don't know if there's a tank handy on back here, so we might have to get him to play. Three CP to work with. No one's too exposed. I lost the one character for just being stupid and walking into machine gun fire, but oof. That hit pretty well. Oh, it's a sniper, that's why. Alright, well we got a sniper. So funny, they have like three CP and we have eight. <laughs> I mean you can tell it's an early mission for sure, just because of, of how uh, how crazy this is. I am oh man, so The question is what's the play? I think this guy, if I remember right, like I can use Kai one more time. And I think this will be the end of this song and dance. No, we still got two more shots left. Okay, there we go. Please hit him. Stupid. Stupid, stupid, okay. Um, we'll use Riley. Let's see if Riley can end this game. So we're going to use that, and we're going to go take a look and see how far she can fire. She can fire all the way over there? That is absurd. Okay. Let's end this. Let's go. All right. Machine gun down. So now we can run over here and actually reset back up somewhere further forward. Okay, can we get all the way up to the Zambans? Please tell me we can. Alright, good. Good, good, good. Glad to get her that far ahead. Okay, who else we got? We got that sniper running around, don't we? Oh, well, do we take our sniper and fire at their sniper? Well, I, I think Riley might be able to fire from here and just knock these guys out. That'd be good. Let's try it again. Let's see if Riley can fire another time. Alright, let's go. Okay, so we're going to use Riley here and see how far she can fire. She cannot quite get there, can she? Alright, so we're going to go after these uh, guys over here. Perfect. Fire those two Strock Troopers hanging out there. And they're both knocked out. Wow. Well, the one guy's dead. The other one's damaged heavily. Let's see. Okay. So our next guy. So this guy's pretty much fired up. Let's see. Let's play Audelard real quick here and see if we can do something about this. Alright, and we're gonna run. Got him. Okay, good. Okay, it's ours now. That's good. I need to get him behind a uh, sandbag or he's gonna get shot up though. He might still get shot up regardless. Okay, get him behind the sandbag. Good. Good. Get him. Okay, just get done. That's absurd. Okay, so next thing we need to do is get Lit Kai moved up there. Got him. 
Okay, good. Perfect. All right, got rid of another command point. So we have three CP left to work with. Uh, probably a smart move to get our shock trooper into place, even if we're not going to use him quite yet. To his competitive spirit. All right, so Raz, get moving, dog. Stay behind cover. And two more left after that. Yeah, it's kind of funny. This tank can literally do nothing <laughs> right now because he can't get through, get through the tank, the tank mine situation. Like those are those are tank tank traps there that are. Uh... I wonder, can we take those out? I'm gonna try this actually really quick. I didn't think about that. Can we actually take those tank traps out? No, that was a good test. Nothing else. You don't want to be that guy where later on people are like, oh, by the way, you could have totally taken those tank traps out. <laughs> That'd be kind of silly. Uh, we have one more CP left. Who else can move? Well, this machine gun, man. I'm gonna, I might just run... Uh, Riley one more time. Yeah, I think I'm gonna run Riley one more time because I think that, you know, if she can hit him, why not? All right, yeah, it looks like she can. Let's see, it's super close. Let's try it. No, not quite. All right, well, that's it for, for this turn, it looks like. It, they have nothing else to do. Okay, so we're gonna actually run Riley up to our. Um, we're gonna run Riley up to our. Uh, we're gonna run Riley all the way up. The insane is up to our. Um, okay, we'll go this way then. Come on, can we actually get to our guy, or is it gonna be freaking stupid? Okay, so we have one more bullet left. That's okay, and we're gonna get our, uh, our engineer going so we should actually have more shots. Raise the camera. Okay. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. As you can see, it it will appear if you go. Okay, there you go. Perfect. I was like, where is the tank thing? No, it didn't kill him in one shot. That sucks. All right, we'll get the sniper up here, and then we'll have both of them get restocked by the by the engineer. Should we make it all the way or not? Oh my gosh, it sucks. It's a little bit of time to get used to kind of just the movement on this game. It's, it's slightly different. It's close, but not exactly the same, so I keep on making that dumb mistake. Right, and okay, he's out. Okay. So now we play Oddlard here. And he can restock everybody. Play Raz next, and we'll get him. Let's see if we can get him into. Come on, let's go. We'll run him in deep and see if we can get him into the uh, the base. All right. Um, who do we still need? Well, we might as well bring up everybody. I keep on thinking like there's gonna be a tank that's gonna pop out of nowhere, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bring our uh, our Lancer just in case. That would suck. All of a sudden, bam, tank. No way to deal with it. <sighs> All 
Let's see what we got going over here. That's a freaking howitzer. That is the howitzer. Okay, that sucks. Man, that could screw us up real bad. I hope to God we don't get shot at. That's gonna really suck. Alright, let's see, man. Maybe she can help us. Let's see. So fire so high, she's not going to be able to. Uh, she's not going to be able to fire through. Interesting. All right. Just hang out here then. We'll play Raz one more time and see if we can get it out of here. Okay, there we go. Perfect wasn't perfect. We lost a guy in the battle. I think we're going to get like a B ranking, probably. Alright, we broke through. Let's see what can capture the cannon. Uh, what? Everyone get down! Oh, so they blew up the howitzer so we can't use it. Oh, what I call? I call it a B, and we got a B. <laughs> All right. All right, new member of Squad E. Well, I think Blackwell. Cool. So that they just talked about the preferences. That's something that happened in the first game too. We get kind of weird, kind of storyline traits that add a little bit of flavor to the characters. Sometimes they're good, other times they're garbage, um, and everybody has kind of a mix of A and B. So it's something that, that will come into play more as we play along. So this is a twenty-one centimeter howitzer. All right. So, it's an interesting kind of interplay. It's talking about the futility of war, perhaps. Okay, that, that was a weird segue. <laughs> We're watching, and then all of a sudden, it just turns into, just like, well, oh, there's some weapons, you know. I, uh, all right. character It's called a mortar. A magic wand that grants every soldier's wish. Awesome, right? You right. see this? There you go. Isn't that A new episode has been added. I was say, like, I, I thought I only had the one thing happen before. Maybe I'm rewatching something. Oh, it is. I, I yeah, this I watched this. So apparently, it did roll into two, two back to back. Okay. My bad.
Oh, apparently she knows Raz. So Kai's name's Lena originally. Oh, storyline potential. piece effectively. Okay, <laughs> whatever that was. So she called you a coward, uh, called Kai Lena and asked if the real Kai was there. So that's another story point. Um, we got a medal. Gives us access to Combat Mag Award. Support Bell. Crest Service Medal. You remember Squad E? Alright. Connor Doherty. Writing a book of war story, non fiction. Good to meet you. Alright. Ryan Ford, Mercenary, you pay I shoot. New potential, self-conscious, soldier's preferences have changed. Learner's permit from the heaven, huh? That's cool. All right, let's see what happens next. So currently we're winning, apparently. In general, we started out with really losing, and now we're winning. Oh, this is a new base? It's incredible. All right. 3,000 soldiers and 100 tanks. That's a lot. So this is going to be our home base for now, it looks like. imps. <laughs> I like that from the first game too, calling them imp the Imperials imps. The Navy's here.
Uh, what? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so this is a new base for you. You can basically take a look at uh, uh, your staff. They had the same thing in the first game as well. So, let's see, command room, change the equipment so we can get that new, uh, I think the metal gave us something, didn't it? Command room. Enter the command room to switch active squad mates and change their equipment. When you want to try out a new unit, select squad setup to access them. Optimize your squad by managing their combat classes and the squaddies each soldier likes. So yeah, what that can do is you can have cool like team attacks and such that'll pop up if you have people that like each other. We have a second Grenadier besides um, Riley that we can bring in if we want to. So we're currently deployed. We need to decide what to do here. Reserves versus active. Something we can't do, like you see Riley, we can't move, now that we, we can't move uh, Kai either. Um, that makes sense, because they're like storyline characters. I don't think we can move Raz either, can we? Let's take a look at stuff. I gave, did I give it to Curtis? I think I gave it to, uh, gave it to uh, Kai, right? Cool. Maybe we can give Riley the uh, support belts. Cat bullets. So we have support belt, we'll give her more dodge and more defense. That's fine, we'll give it to Riley. Any tank parts? Nope, nope. Optional parts. Each optional part has a side associated with it, such as two by one. Vehicles have a limited amount of space, so please keep part size and placement in mind. There's nothing we can do right now with half it. So, that should do for now. Alright. So, we're prepared. Let's see if there's any training field. Train soldiers should improve their combat ability. So, 3,675 experience right now. I'm assuming we can use it on different soldiers to improve them. So you basically, unlike a lot of games, you're not leveling individual characters, which allows you to, that's actually good in some ways, because you don't have to worry about like having characters in reserves and watering down the entire crew. But you have to decide what class is going to get the experience at any given time. Sure, training field. Spend EXP at the training field to level up the different classes. Leveling up a class will strengthen all the squad members of that class. Using EXP to maintain a training routine will help squad E be the best, be all that they can be. Now show me what you're made of. It's a bad that I want to level up sniper. <laughs> let's try it. So if we go all the way up, we can go to level, right? Yep, let's level them up. Interesting. So we can level up everybody, pretty much. One. I think we can. I think we can literally level, literally level up everybody one level. No problem, right?
Everyone got a level. Learn to evade boost. The order raises one ally's evasion. Grenadier again. We don't have to do basically one more soldier. And we can do engineer at the same time. Interesting. Alright. That's cool. You're not done yet. Do you want to win or don't you? Nice. You roll up, so to speak. Good work. Grenadier's got new potential. Nice. Order, what's it gonna be? Healing request. This order restores a set amount of one as one ally's HP. Nice. Alright. We're down at five experience points. <laughs> We're in a combat class, right? Well, the... Let's see. Defense boost. So cool. We uh, got some new skills, got some levels. That's neat. What's R&D or facility do? Wow, Claude. Look at the parts. So you can build new weapons, it looks like. We have DCT, which I'm assuming is money to buy stuff. This is where you get your, your weapons or your military it looks like. Make sure to develop armaments for infantry and tanks by spending DCT. New armaments unlock as the game progresses, so check the R into R&D offer. Tutorial equipment. Develop equipment to forge new weapons and armor for infantry units. Rifles, machine guns, grenades, and other weapons are mass produced, so once it's developed, all units can equip it. Upgrades like firepower accuracy boost will automatically be applied to soldiers equipping those weapons. Interesting. So we have the LF Wasp number one for sniper rifles. Same weapon we always have. Let's see if, any, let's see if anything else has an upgrade. It does actually. If you look at rifles, for example, you have standard boost one, which gives it extra damage. Machine guns are the same way. Same glances, nothing. Mortars, nothing. Hand grenades, nothing. Turn your suits. Uniform upgrade one. That's good. Let's do that. Let's see my guys are better. Okay. Alright, how about combat suits? Last suits. I think I upgrade basically everything. If I'm looking at this correctly, I think pretty much everything can be upgraded. That I can take advantage of right now, looking at the way that this money's going. Yeah. Pretty sure that's it. Yep. Awesome. Tank parts. Sure, I'll tank parts. Develop tank parts to enhance your vehicles and create optional parts. Weapon and body enhancements focus on cannon and armor strength. All enhancements stack. Treads and other and attack support allow you to develop new optional tank parts. Optional parts take effect once equipped on the vehicle, so outfit your tank to fit the situation. So body enhancement, you can get extra body. Side upgrade gives us extra accuracy. So I think we can do basically, not all of it, but I'm going to do this. AP rounds, sound good? We can do this too. We need a side upgrade. That's the two AP round. No, 
Not a bar. Not a problem. Okay. So we can put that in there. So there we go. We add our vocal revisor. Proof visors in play right now. So it's good to go. Awesome. Return to book mode. A new episode's been added. Our new facility's been added. To our headquarters. Training and R&D require EXP and DCT for upgrades and weapon development. Visit HQ after gaining EXP in combat and to prepare for upcoming battles. Access headquarters from book mode. Tab or press triangle to reach the menu. Skirmishes have been added. Tutorial skirmishes. Skirmishes are a battle that can be waged at any time for EXP and DCT. New maps appear as you progress in the story, so use skirmishes to train when main battles become too tough. Access skirmishes from the book mode. Tab or press triangle to reach the menu. Squad mates kill in action become unavailable in the main story. If they die in a skirmish, they are gone. So you don't screw up. <laughs> Mess hall's been added. Private quarters has been added. A new skirmish has been added. Personnel's been updated. Weapons have been updated. Bosses have been updated. New article has been updated. Jeez. Okay. All the things have been updated. Yeah. Next space. This is your boss, apparently. Tank platoon. That's fun. So it looks like we're going to go on to another mission here to deal with this tank battalion. Riley's back again, but she hates Claude. does not like your main leader.
There's some salt going on. All right. So, new mission. Great, I'm gonna find out. Victory, find all the real enemy tanks. Failure, the enemy occupies your base camp while the infantry fall in action. 20 your turns passed, or Kai dies. All right. Not to miss a single tank. Okay. How can you see P to issue special orders? Alright, so basically gives us extra defense, etc. So we'll see if we need those. So we have these tanks. We don't know if they're tanks or not. Um, interesting. So we have a tank, but we really can't do anything with it because it's all blocked up. Cool. <laughs> Take that as let's run out there and see how we're doing. Let's pick it up. Okay, it makes sense. I was like, is a tank again not gonna be involved at all in this fight? When attacking you and you're an ally, they may launch a co-op. Yeah, we saw it earlier where basically other units would start firing. Yep. So some group attacks you can do. So first off, that tank was fake. And that means we gotta figure out where the real tanks are interesting. 
So can we get, let's get, let's get all the other guys out there. Let's get those out there see if we can take that other. He got shot up last time. Prone. Crawling soldiers can't be discovered except at close quarters. Upon discovery, the prone unit uses interception fire. Scouts, however, are able to discover prone units from a radio distance. Crawling raises a prone unit's defense, similarly to crunch behind sandbags. Use grenades or other explosives on crawling enemies to blow them away and force prone units to their feet. So I'm assuming there's prone units. Alright, well, let's get Curtis out of the line of fire. That's not helping us. Interesting. We're gonna wanna grab our you know, we'll grab Jester here and see if we can fire a grenade. Um there we go. I just missed the guy, is that what ended up happening? That's stupid. <sighs> Alright, I'll try this again. <laughs> You can still fire, it's just you don't do them very much damage. Four more to go. Um bring our scout up and see if we can finish this up. Jester guy, interesting. So he doesn't want to be around other people. Excellent. Okay. Get her uh, RNG her up. Okay, so the first turn is pretty pretty positive here. Let's uh, see if we can keep moving. That first tank wasn't a tank in the end. So let's see. Yeah, this is a rough, rough mission. You have this gate blocking everything off, so I have to try to get through. I'm gonna leave um, Warren up here because he's so slow. Like he's gonna lead to to stay with the tank effectively until the gate opens.
Oof. Getting shot at. Luckily we're all undercover. Nice. Come on. Oh man, so close. We're gonna use the sniper first because she's so far behind. She, there's there's unlo very low likelihood that she'll be able to engage anybody else this turn. Tutorial potentials. Every soldier has a set of innate abilities known as potentials. Potentials are awakened in combat under set conditions such as remaining HP, terrain type, and other factors. Each Strahd member has their own unique strengths and weaknesses. Shot at, that's cool. That was kind of dummy, like running way out there, but I want to get her as far forward as possible. Okay. Alright. Um. Guys, all over the place. I don't know where else we got guys going, but it seems like there's a bunch of them. So I need to check this tank out. Am I going backwards? Oof, that's bad. That's not good. Wow, okay, well, um, that hurt. To machine gun. Man, now I need this guy. So we found the real tank. Um, we gotta find the rest of them though. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more possible tanks running right around. I'm gonna bring this guy over now. I wasn't going to originally, but I'm not entirely sure we have a choice. We need to take the guy out, we're gonna need a tank. Okay, so we need to get, um, our guys in position to be able to move out next turn. So we're going to go right all the way up.
Okay, so like literally the game prevents you from doing any damage. Interesting, okay. So <laughs> I just was like, okay, let's kill the tank. And they're like, don't kill the tank, we just need to reveal them. Alright, so that's kind of a storyline weirdo thing. Okay, cool. Well, it makes it easy. All we gotta do is find the tanks. Um, so... Let's get the rest of our guys out of here. Okay, it would be nice if we could kill this guy. Flag now. That's good. All right. Cool. We got more guy left. We're gonna take our all our. Awesome. That's so good. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. <laughs> Thank God for good Overwatch. Alright, so we're going to take... Um, let's take our job in here and see if we can check out the rest of these tanks and see where the good tanks are. There's one fake. Two fakes. Three fakes. All of them are freaking fakes. Okay. Alright, so we're we, we found three fakes over here. There is... Oh, I didn't realize that guy was hanging out over there, though. What we're going to do is we're going to go back over here and find... Where is... Uh, well... Can Kai get up there? Let's find out if Kai can get up there. Because if she can, I'll take that stupid guy out here and we'll go for it. I don't think she can, though. Let's go as close fast as we can, folks. Can we make it? Nope. Whoa, maybe. Crap, I think we can. We got him, but it's not enough to kill though. Okay, um, cool. I think we're gonna I'm gonna have her go a second time though. Um, because then we can we can just at least get rid of that uh, shock trooper. Well, first off, let's go correctly. Come on. Is that correct? Alright, perfect. Excellent. Got him. 
All right, takes out down one of their CP. Perfect. So those of you just joining us, this is Valkyria Chronicles 4. It just came out about two hours ago here uh, on the West Coast. And uh, it is a fantastic game. Uh, we're about uh, three missions in so far. And I can tell you, coming from the previous Valkyria Chronicle game, it, it definitely is a worthy successor. Uh, this current mission has us trying to find decoy Imperial tanks. Uh, the square boxes are possible tanks. And so far we only found uh, one here in the corner. But we can't use our troops to actually kill tanks. We're supposed to just identify them and get them painted so they can be taken out by artillery off screen. So that's what we're doing right now. Um, I'm currently trying to get my soldiers in position uh, to open up this gate because right now our tank, the Hoffen, is blocked in. So we have to get to this uh, flag here to to get the, the tank out. Right. Curtis. A lot of running in this uh, in this mission. We'll keep them all together. So you just read that earlier on in a tool tip that you can have to three members fire at the same time as a group, so that could be helpful. Raz out of here. So we're defending this forward post pretty clearly now. We have one more movement that we can do. Kind of want to take this guy up here and just go deep, but that's Let's do it, man. Let's, let's go way behind the enemy lines and see where we're at. I think we might be able to pull this off. Let's do it. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Awesome. <laughs> that was great. This guy got went, went deep behind enemy lines and took out the nest. I love it. So we got clearance to kind of clear us out now if they move that fast. So let's take take Raz and see if we can't. Uh, I think this tank may or may not be real. I hope to God it's not. Hey, okay, it's not good. We can open up the gates now. All right there we go. Open this gate, so now the tank can come through finally. He's pretty much where he needs to be. Ended up actually being Raz to do that. I was not necessarily expecting it to actually be Raz. I mean, the main character talked to him. Alright, Iron Will, interception damage halved. Alright, the front lines have blown out. Nice. I do not care. I'm gonna run these guys over. Right. Okay, so we need to just re realize this actually is a tank. Nice.
That was almost scary. Our guy got shot up, so I didn't realize it was in the arc of fire for, uh, uh, for that tank. Okay, he's gonna do more damage versus uh, anti personnel, so basic infantry. Let's see if we can. Got him. Excellent. Good, good, good. So our guy up here is like way behind enemy lines. Goblin. So let's let's take their base. Let's just move it. Why not? Perfect. We have have the base now. Okay, that one's not real. How about this one? Also not real. That is a real tank. Oh crap. So the last tank's gonna be over here. That's gonna be it. I'm pretty sure we have. Oh well, we have two more tank slots. Uh, we missed that one. I think this last tank's gonna be over here, though. That's gonna be in the feeling. So we're gonna run over there and take a look. Just make sure. All right, running, 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 running. Oh my gosh! Oh to God, it's not real. Okay, that's actually not a real tank. Good. So what we're gonna do is use us some ragnade. I should have done it last turn with Goblin too, but I was paying attention. So let's take a look here though. Alright, we have one more tank or two more tanks we need to check. So we're gonna take Um So who should we take? Uh we have two more to run with. I think we should take probably Jester. This direction and check this tank out to make sure if it's real or not. That is a real tank. Holy crap. Okay. Oh god. Oh god, don't rush. That was scary. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so the last, last tank, I think, if I'm checking this correctly, there's two more slots. It could be this one, or it could be this one. So we have one more turn. Let's take a look here, and uh, might it be? Let's take the sniper, I guess. Let's have Kai go. I think she's gonna get shot up. I'm pretty damn sure. Oh, that hurt. Interesting. So, like, the rest of these guys aren't doing anything. 
so there's one more tank left. I think we need to that we just need to play this guy and then be done with it. Can't radio fire support. Oh no. Oh, she's showing showing some soft uh, <laughs> some softness towards Claude. You know, now that he's not there. Interesting. Some character development here. signal towers. All right. So we have two more towers we need to take out. We have one here and one there. We only have one sniper on our team.
Alright, here we go. So exactly three bullets and three three towers. So let's take a look and see what we can do. Can we hit it? Or is it gonna be all backwards? That sucks. I think we're not gonna hit it here. Grab uh, we run him back this direction actually. Let's get more of the sniper. Try the tank out. Scouts. We need to go through here and take out the rest of these guys, though. So I'm gonna take. I have three more, three more uh, moves to do. Let's see if we can get our machine guns out there. One more movement left we can do, and so we'll take one of our scouts and move them north. All 
Oh, right, it's their turn. We gotta get all the way around, though. If you see that, it's kind of irritating. We go all the way around there. Oh, crap. That's gonna suck. So yeah, we're we're doing some good covering fires. These guys move out. Good. We took out another another guy running around the corner. Yeah, no, this is DJ. Yeah, it's late night. The game came out at 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I was gonna get it anyway. I thought, you know, like this would be a great game to do a launch day stream. Doing super, super good. Um, yeah, we had a great FGC weekend. Um, and, uh, you know, we had a great tournament. Uh, and, uh, but it's like, seriously, 15 hours of streaming between Smash, uh, Final Fantasy TCG, and FGC. So I thought, hey, I had to do some kind of uh, laid back casual streaming here. This game is dope, though. Like, I was a big fan of the original Valkyrie Chronicles, and this game is, uh, it's really, really good. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna get shot up here while I'm not paying attention. Yeah, I know the original, like, Valkyrie Chronicles was super, super good. Uh, the remaster was great on PS4 as well. Um, I really liked it a lot. Man, I'm just gonna run forward and get behind this, this sandbag because of the goofiness that is crouching. This one is using basically the same engine uh, as, the, as the original first one. A um, couple, couple UI improvements, but for the most part it's the same game. Uh, two and three uh, for Valkyria Chronicles, that was a question that was asked in chat. Uh, we're both a PSP, actually. <laughs> Strangely enough, they were both PSP games. I have not had a chance to play Xenoblade 2, though. Um, oh, I ran out of the ability to, to uh, drive. Nice. We're just going to use a mortar in this game mode. Or I'm going to blow up the trees. That's cool, too. I'm scrubbing up this this rematch pretty heavily here, but let's see. All right, let's go. Oh, or I can miss. Oh my gosh, he shot up so bad. Okay. I hate that the sniper has like a, a character trait that just causes it basically translates into oh wait, don't use her multiple times because she will have like works HP if you do kind of garbage oh my gosh okay um here we go I'm also gonna check the audio too I think that I might be using like 5.1 and it's screwing up because you don't say they're not, they're not saying anything and I'm not sure if that's just actually the game or if it's a weird like audio issue um 
I noticed a lot of the, the cutscenes, though, do not have audio in this game. I, I mentioned that earlier on in the stream. I was kind of surprised how little actual like voice acting there is. Full health is good. Alright, so Tank is having problems with ammo. We need to get to the other side of this, this clock face. Because the other two I could fire at from a position over here. Um, we'll have to get our sniper all the way over to this side to get her in position. We have three more command points, so we might as well get the rest of our guys into play. It's possible we play through the controller. I'm going to check that really quick. Actually, that's a really great question, Chris. Um, I'll wait till this character is too done. I think I should turn that on at the beginning of this. Stupidly enough. Be like, oh, sure, I play through the controller. Which is dumb, especially for a stream. But uh, we're going to hide. Okay, I'm going to take a look at this. The options right now. Yep, there you go. Controller speaker. I want to see if that fixes it. Oh, that makes me happy. I don't know why we want to change the X-axis to axis or the Y-axis. I was trying to do the tank controls. Let's see. Okay. No, we do not want to discard changes. We want to make sure that they're on because... Oh, did you see that? It goes through like a... Um, yeah, it basically like forces a save as if it's like saving a save game when you like change the the uh, settings. It's kind of funny. Um, and yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm an old uh, old player that does fight simulators. I'm gonna I'm just playing this the way it's supposed to be. But it reminds me of like playing old Resident Evil, right? People like new players just hate the tank controls, but it, they're actually intuitive if you think about it, because of the, the way the old games used to change screens constantly. So I get kind of irritated people being like, "Oh, they're dumb," and I'm like, "No, actually, when the game came out, it made a lot of sense." throw a grenade because I just I'm kind of down for garbage all right guys sit down let's go it's gonna be far enough let's try throw it uh, yep nope nope not far enough okay let's see how many of my guys are gonna get shot up because I like totally misplaced my guys uh, ow, ow. Or I can just counter shoot and kill him. That's cool, too. And he was an officer. Nice. Overwatch fire is so strong in this game. Like, I forgot that because it's also really strong in uh, VC1, but. I think they, they buffed the crap out of it though, because I keep on seeing guys get run by and get just, just shot up completely. I run her straight forward here. She should be okay as long as I use 
before I can be really dumb and just run her out again. This is really sloppy, but I just want to get through this here. This mission is... It's still early on enough I'm not going to get punished for playing badly. Alright, the engineer's dead. Another officer. I didn't realize they had back-to-back -back officers there. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna check my settings. I've had this happen problem before, though, with other uh, other games where if you like doubly digital or DTS one or the other, that for some reason or 5.1 or 7.1 sound, it uh, will really screw up. So, actually, give me one second here. I'm gonna check this really fast just to do this. I'm sorry for interrupting really quick. I just keep on feeling like for some reason this is jacked up. Yeah, I'll change it back to 5.1. Alright, let's try this now. Okay. Sorry everybody, I just had to change it really quick because it just felt like the certain sounds were not playing through. And there's all these characters like miming out like voices about them playing, so I want to make sure that I wasn't jacking that up somehow. All right, so can't move the tank. We got to. There is a tank down here, isn't it? So I'm gonna need to get this uh, tank destroyer character out there. Okay, we're gonna go this way. I'm afraid to run her out around the corner. I really am. I think it's going to be super stupid. Um, let's see. Let's grab, let's grab our assault, assault trooper here first and see. Let's peek around the corner and see what's hiding back there. Alright, so we got at least two sight lines on us. There. So a tank and then there's a, a scout. So what we're gonna do is grab Kai and run her around the corner, see if we can make it there. If we can and, and pop that uh Did she make it? Barely. Nice. Alright, let's end this guy. Nice. All right, another commander. Got another trophy. All right. I'm just really worried about that tank turning around and just blowing us up, so I just want to this tank destroyer up. Alright, so we have one more AP to work with. I think I'm going to get our, yeah, our engineer.
Alright, so the tanks aren't doing a whole lot of anything. Yeah, it's kind of funny they're finally like, like, Claude, shut up. You know, we gotta do the thing. Because he keeps on repeating himself over and over again. Alright, so here we go. It's right up here, right? second time and then try to get her move a little bit over. There we go. This should do it. Right? Yep, there it is. There we go. And now they're going to call in some artillery. No, I don't think there's any voices, Chris. I mean, the more that I'm thinking about this, I think there, there literally aren't, there are just not voices with it, it's mined out. Yeah, I don't know, because I mean, I, I seem to remember a lot more voices in the original game. Kind of as a critique of this is that there's, it seemed like this production value-wise, it was, it was a bit higher. And that was kind of a gripe that IGN and a couple, and I think Kotaku had was like, it looks like the exact same engine as the first game that came out what ten years ago. <laughs> like, so it's interesting. Um, not to say I don't like it. I think it's fine. I mean. Especially for like a tactical role playing game, but. Uh... Probably got like a B again. No, I got a C ranking. Oh no, shame. All the shame. It was super sloppy. I didn't see that I didn't take any of the tanks out, because there were there were those two tanks that I could have taken out, and I just didn't do it. Ooh, I got a ZM KR1E from the enemy. Imperial weapons. Seize Imperial weapons by defeating aces. Weapons made in the Empire have different properties from Federate, Federate armaments. Unlike items obtained from R&D, awards and spoils received are limited in number. You can only equip as many as you own. A new episode's been added. I got a bag out of metal. Honorary Medal of Valor awarded. I got a telescope. Awards. Awards are granted for fulfilling certain requirements in combat. These include weapons and accessories. Each battle offers a different award. Unlike items obtained from R&D, awards and spoils received are limited in number. You can only equip as many as you have. Obtained a rifle, Lenfield R1 times one. Obtained a machine gun, Robinson M91R times one. Obtained a mortar, Hartman MSR MS1R times two. Weaponry has been updated. All right. Watch this. Then I think I'm gonna wrap it up for the night. Been at it for about three hours here, and so after midnight, where I'm at, I will continue tomorrow. Though. This is when uh, the artillery woman is gonna be nicer to us now.
Yeah, it's good to see you, Chris, for sure. Like I said, I'll be I'll be continuing this game on. I want to play it front to back on stream. Kind of is a new new thing here for me on the off days when I'm not doing tournaments and such. So thank you for coming by for sure. Stay on. All right, and we're going to have to see what happens. Well, 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 we can take a look at this, I guess. I'll play up to the next, the next map. They set fire to the city. Oof. Napalm. gonna run in there. Miller Company. Personnel's been updated. All the updates. I have not saved yet. It'll probably be a smart idea three hours in. All right, we're good. All right, everyone. Thank you for joining me tonight. This game is awesome. I definitely recommend picking it up. I was playing this on PlayStation 4, as you can see, when I went in there and was checking some options. But it's also out for Xbox One and Switch and PC as well. Um, but yeah, well, Curious Chronicles 4. I'll definitely be back tomorrow with more of this game. My hope is to play do a playthrough here in the next three or four days uh, and play it front to back. But for now, you all have a good night and see you tomorrow.